In this video, we show you how to change between the air and coil spring system. With the Olin spring system, you can change back and forward between air and coil. To maintain the high level of performance in your product, it is important to follow the service intervals. At olins.com, you can access manuals and find the specification for your product. Start by loosening the air spring top cap. Be careful not to slip and damage the cap if a lot of torque is required. Clamp your bike in a workshop stand with the fork in a horizontal position. By doing this you will avoid fluid spilling out of the fork accidentally. Remove the wheel, brake caliper and brake hose. For air forks you do not need to remove the air. However, you should note the rebound setting by counting the clicks clockwise until fully closed. Remove the rebound adjuster with a hex key whilst holding on to the adjuster with a spanner. Remove the air spring and damper cartridge nuts. Carefully slide the lowers off the fork and drain them into a tray. Remove the air spring. Use the coil kit tool to remove the air end cap. Adjust the coil kit to your preferred stroke by carefully pushing out the pin with the splines first. Reinstall it in a hole with the splines last. The lowest hole will give 120mm of travel, with each subsequent hole giving an additional 10mm of travel. Grease the lower part of the coil spring kit and add the washer. Insert the spring cartridge into the stanchion tube and tighten to the correct torque using the coil kit tool. Grease the spring generously with functional grease. Insert the spring. Now add a touch of grease to the top cap to make the washer stick to the underside. Tighten the top cap by hand. You may need to apply a thread locking fluid to the thread of your top cap. Check the manual for your fork's requirement. Carefully slide the lowers back onto the stanchion tubes. Inject the specified amount of fork lubrication fluid into each lower leg. Do not overfill as it may have a negative impact on the fork's performance. Assemble the nuts and tighten them to the correct torque. Reinstall the rebound adjuster and turn it back to your original setting. Reinstall the brake caliper and wheel. Remove your bike from the workshop stand and tighten the top cap to the correct torque. Now you're done in the workshop, it's time to go riding. 